Okay guys, here is your tour of 1419 Nantahala Beach Road. As you can see, it is a little bit of a busier road than um, the one on Coronado here. There is a boat ramp right down at the end of the block there, right where the trees are, so you could walk down there. Um, but I would say on average cars are probably doing 35 or 40, so that's definitely something to consider um, if you want to have the kiddos out here riding bikes and things. So the roof looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, obviously we would get the um, disclosures and years of the roofs and the ages and all that kind of stuff. So really nice landscaping out front here. Got some nice flowering plants with a full brick exterior. So I will say this floor plan for me is a little funky. Um, so coming in here into the foyer, on the left hand side we have the formal dining room here. And then on the right hand side, they have this, they have this set up as an office. I guess it would be like a formal seating, seating area. Um, or you could do a playroom, but there's another room just off this that I feel like would be um, a playroom or an office because it has these two double doors um, that go into it. So you do have options here with different space. I'm not sure what exactly all y'all's needs are. And then there is a nice size uh, walk-in closet with additional storage back that way. So there's a lot of space up here. Three different rooms. And then over into the kitchen, we have granite countertops that they've upgraded with. Uh, the cabinetry is original. And obviously you can see they have the white um, appliances with the um, with the old burner style tops. We have a little bit of sort of, um, you know, just water damage and things like that. That's kind of typical for older cabinets that, um, you know, are original right underneath the sink area there. So there is lots of cabinet space in here though, as well as the pantry over here right next to the refrigerator. All right, so into the living room. We have vaulted ceilings in here, so it gives for a nice spacious feel, as you can see. That's a pretty popular thing around here. I'm sure you've seen after looking at enough houses. With a wood-burning fireplace over there in the corner. Hardwood floors in the living room as well. All right, I guess I'll take you out into the backyard since I'm back here. They have a nice uh, glass storm door here. On this back door. So you're back up to woods here, so nice and quiet back here. You have a nice stained wood deck back here with tons of plants growing in gardens. Let me take a walk down here, I'll show you guys the sides of the house. Well, if you wanted a boat, that's pretty perfect. You have the double uh, double gate on the side entry there. So you could pull a boat right back into there. And then um, a benefit to this would be, and again, I don't know if you're looking to have a boat, but with the boat ramp there just at the end of the street, sometimes like in major holiday weekends and things, um, there's not a ton of parking. You have to get there really early. But this house is so close to the boat ramp that you could just um, bring your car and your trailer back here and just walk right back to the boat ramp and like two minutes so that would definitely be a perk if you guys were interested in having a boat here another cool thing about being on the sound side over here you know the bay is kind of on the more north northern side of this kind of little peninsula gulf breeze um, and the the sound once you get in the water it's pretty much a straight shot over to the beach which is where everybody goes they like to anchor behind the boardwalk there on pensacola beach and kind of walk up and get drinks and food and stuff so it's nice and shallow there, so it's great for the kids to play and things like that. All right, coming back inside. I'll take you over into the master first. Which is right over here on this side. Now it's actually a really good sized master. They just have very large furniture in here. So you can definitely, this is a king and you can definitely get a king in here. 
And there's kind of like two bathrooms in here. So I've seen this in a few houses around here. It's kind of interesting. So this is her side. So you have a nice walk-in closet. And then a single vanity here with just the garden tub and no shower head. But that could be an easy fix if you wanted to do a shower over here as well. I guess you would just have to do glass going up right here um, to kind of partition that off. And you do have a linen closet and a water closet in here as well. So you definitely have your own side of things. All right, over onto his side, we have the walk-in shower, the uh, single vanity, water closet, and uh, um, walk-in closet for him as well. So lots of space in here. Y'all each get your own bathroom in this house. There's a nice little nook back there as well. And over on the opposite side of the house, we have a laundry room just off the garage over here. They've got some additional storage in here built in. It's just a regular size laundry room. And into the two car garage, this one has an epoxy finish on the floor with the side door as well. I got a lot of fridges, refrigerators in here, jeez. All right, so lots of shelving in this garage already installed. All right, over here, we have the two additional bedrooms and bathroom. So this one is a queen size bed in here, but it's a, Pretty average size room. Again, they have big furniture in here with this sleigh bed. It would be much more spacious feeling without um, some of this large furniture, like this end table sticking out over here in front of the door. Into the um, third bedroom. This is a good size too. They just have a ton of stuff in here, so it's kind of hard to gauge, um, but it's a good size room in here. And then into the second bath, granite vanity. Looks like they painted the cabinetry on this one. Um, it's not new, but they just kind of painted it to update it a little bit. New toilet and let's see, new light and fixtures in here as well. I know the light fixtures are kind of hard to see with the glare. And then back over here, we have a shower tub combo. Again, it's just the fiberglass inserts in this bathroom. All right, guys, well, let me know. Again, I'll be sending these over as they upload. Um, it takes a little bit, so um, just let me know what you guys think on this one. And I got my next video for y'all at three o'clock. Oh, look, they painted some uh, Hawaiian flowers on here for you guys. <laughs>